everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, let me start off by saying I'm really sorry about the sound problems that I've been having recently. I'm not sure exactly what the cause of the problem is, but I really am trying to sort it out. I'm wearing a small little mic today, so I'm hoping that will make a difference to the quality but um, it doesn't seem to be a problem for everybody but I really appreciate you sticking with me in spite of it and I'm speaking louder as well so that um, perhaps the quality will be better. But that aside I am going to talk today about my favourites in skincare, hair care and body care for 2018. They're mainly skincare so um, I'm going to just jump straight in and hopefully you will enjoy the video. So I'm going to start with cleansing and one of my best, some of these things are, are products that I've discovered in 2018 and others are products that I've been using for quite a while. But this one was really a discovery for me in 2018. I may have used it before, but I don't know if they changed the formula, but I really, really enjoy it. And it's the Boots Botanics Hot Cloth Cleanser and that's it there. I use this as my first cleanse. You can see it's well used. It, it has a, a kind of a pleasant smell. I'm not sure exactly. It's sort of, a, I suppose, a, a botanically smell, maybe with essential oils. I really, really enjoy this. You need a very small amount. It's really good for removing makeup. Um, it's very gentle on the skin and you remove it with um, a hot cloth or a cloth rinsed out in hot water and you use that to remove the, the balm. Um, it's really well priced. So that's something that's going to be in my skincare regime for a long time to come. I've really enjoyed using that. Now for cleansers, I'm actually trying a different cleanser at the moment, so I'm, I won't talk about it just yet, but the cleansers that um, I have used during 2018, I actually don't have them at the moment, but the ones that I really enjoyed were the Avalon Organics. I don't know if that's gonna show. There, you can see it. <laughs> Ah, this is not going to play. You might be able to see it there. No, there. You can kind of see it there. It's the Avalon Organics Intense Defense with Vitamin C uh, cleansing. It's actually, it says it's a cleansing gel, but it's kind of a cr very thick, creamy texture. That is such a good price and it's it has no nasties and it's a really, really good cleanser for a second cleanse. So to actually cleanse your skin as opposed to taking, you can use it to remove your makeup, but it's a really, really good cleanser for the skin. And uh, I'm sorry now it's, it's playing tricks with me. <laughs> um, and my daughters really enjoy that as well. So that's one of my favorite um, kind of cream cleansers and it's in a pump too. Um, then yeah, that's the cleansers. They were the the, the balm and the uh, the Avalon Organics. I really really enjoyed those. Now for vitamin C, I have this is I've spoken about it so many times. I've actually spoken about the Avalon Organics as well so many times. But this is my favorite vitamin C. Um, it's the Mad Hippie, um, and it's the vitamin C serum with. Where's my glasses? Because I can't read without them. Um, it has konjac root, ferulic and hyaluronic acid. So um, it's a really good combination of ingredients. Um, I really, really like this. And because of whatever way it's formulated, it doesn't spoil. So you can use it for quite a long time. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't change color. I'm right at the end of this, but you can see that it hasn't oxidized at all. That's the color it is when you when you get it. I absolutely love that. Um, my go-to moisturizer and I have tried other ones but this is the one I come back to all the time is the Mad Hippie face cream and this one has peptides uh, peptides acai and argan oil and resveratrol so again very good for anti-aging and um, it's I just and I've said this every time I've spoken about this that I do wish sorry showing lace there and um, I do wish that uh, Mad Hippie would make it in a slightly bigger uh, container because this lasts me 10 weeks. I only use it in the morning, but I absolutely love this cream. It's quite um, light in texture. It absorbs very easily. And I did think when I got it first, this is not going to be successful, but it absolutely is. It leaves your skin so hydrated and so well moisturized. And I, abs I go back to it all the time and I'm nearly out. So I need to put a, um, an order in. Um, my favorite um, 
vitamin A or vitamin A serums. I normally use the Mad Hippie vitamin A and you can see that this is a brand new one. I haven't opened this yet. I, because I had run out before the summer and or at the beginning of the summer and I hadn't repurchased um, this particular one and I'll show you the one that I did purchase in the meantime that I've also been enjoying but I, ha I did repurchase this again I just haven't opened it but this is a fabulous vitamin A serum um, you when you start using it you can use it every other night and build up to um, every night but I I didn't need didn't really need to do that it didn't have any extreme reaction on my skin at all I didn't have any peeling or redness but it definitely keeps my skin um, exfoliated and I love the but since I since I started using it I must be using it two years at this stage may, maybe in and around that I did see a huge change in my skin so I highly recommend that it's a really really good vitamin A um, when I couldn't when I hadn't repurchased it and I was waiting for um, waiting to put in an order because I'm changing who I'm ordering my mad hippie with um, I was stuck and I was in a department store in Dublin um, called Arnott's and they have a wide variety of uh, a very very large variety of uh, skincare brands and makeup brands it's, ab it's actually quite similar to Sephora they have such so many wonderful brands but they had I didn't realize that they had the ordinary in stock so I purchased now again I'll need my glasses it's the ordinary uh, retinol point zero point two percent in squalene and that's it there and I'm almost out of this um, as well so that's why I have the other one ready to go but this I actually really did enjoy and at the price point it's really really good value and um, it absorbs very easily it's quite like it's quite um, it's quite an oily uh, serum um, it's kind of different in texture to the Mad Hippie the Mad Hippie can kind of get tacky fairly quickly and um, but this is quite it's the squalene that makes it very easy to spread and you just leave it to dry for 10 minutes or so and then if you wish you can put on um, a night cream or an oil um, but I have been enjoying that and um, I think I prefer the Mad Hippie because it's cleaner um, but what I ha actually have been doing as well is putting the ordinary on the backs of my hands um, and hoping to see a, um, a good result from that um, one of my favorite oils and this I think was a discovery this year is the Derma E um, illuminating rosehip and cranberry face oil and that's it there I absolutely love this I think I've gone through two or three of those and I'm nearly out I'm gonna have to rep repurchase again I love that the rosehip oil that's been in my skincare regimen for I don't know how long years and years and years and as, as I said before I never realized that there was a natural vitamin A in rosehip so I love that one it is an illuminating oil and I do use it at night when I've let my vitamin A serum dry down I pop that on it's very soothing very moisturizing very hydrating highly recommend it and you can also add that in as um, a little drop of that into um, foundations if you wish if you have a foundation that's a little bit maybe drying on your skin in the winter or one that you feel just needs a little bit more moisture in it and will give you a little bit more of a glow that's a really really good option as well um, I made t one really good discovery in terms of face masks and I've been absolutely loving this this was later in the year um, this is the Andalou Naturals pumpkin honey glycolic mask and I think I bought it in November and it's almost gone because my daughters love it as well now this is a glycolic mask and I mustn't forget to show you my lotions as well and um, I absolutely love this you put it on it's kind of brownish orangey in in, t in color and it ha it is is not kind of it does have a slight texture to it I don't know how you'd describe it but that's that's it there so you can see it's kind of orangey and it does have a slight texture you put it on and you will feel a tingling now I don't have sensitive skin but I definitely get a good tingling in the first few minutes of using it and then it stops so you can leave it on for up to 20 minutes now I have never left it on for 20 minutes but I've definitely left it on for 10 I love the result of this it keeps my skin exfoliated and yet it's gentle and it's a very clean product as well I highly recommend that and I will be repurchasing it I was so happy to discover that we actually have Andalou Naturals in stores in Dublin so I don't have to order online and I think I paid 13 euro for that I'm so happy to 
to get it and in fact I may even try some of their other their other products as well um, another mask that you know I've spoken about this before and I absolutely love it is the fresh cosmetics rose face mask which is very hydrating and soothing it's brownish in color it's got little pieces of rose in it it has a rose scent so if you're bothered by rose scent you may not like it but it's not particularly strong and um, so if I use my glycolic mask there it is still in the box and um, the Andalou Naturals glycolic mask I would often follow with this just to so I'm cleansing the skin may not, maybe not on the same night I might use the glycolic mask one night and then use the fresh mask um, the next night and before I forget and um, because again I have literally it's it's Murphy's Law isn't it I have run out of both of these products the toners that I really really like are the pixie glow tonic which I literally ran out of during the week and I haven't had a chance to to purchase it and that's it now again it's going to play tricks on me because I'm trying to deal with the light no I'll let the I'll let the lighting go down on my phone um you can kind of see it there it's the pixie glow tonic mm, it's playing tricks on me well done I'll take the lighting down and it might show that's it there um, I'm sorry that's a really bad picture but that's the pixie glow tonic you've heard me speak about it before it's a glycolic uh, tonic and um, I, I do use it every night um, I ran out of it during the week and just haven't had the chance to repurchase but another one that I love um, and again I've, I haven't had this for a while because I've been using the pixie um, is this one and it's the derma e can, oh there we go Derma E and it's the radiance toner and with glycolic uh, and ruby ruibos um, and I love that as well um, I, I think for me the pixie glow is that slightly bit it's easier to purchase I can go in store and buy it I don't have to order it whereas the Derma E see if I can show you that one again it's the coloring on the picture I'm sorry anyway I will be repurchasing one of those um, just whichever one is easiest <laughs> to come by now I'm running short of time so I uh, know a big discovery for me was the Duvol face cleansing system and that has two brush heads for your face one is the exfoliator and one is the cleanser I absolutely love it there's also um, one for your feet and your elbows and your knees and there's also one for your body and I did a full review oops there's a hair on that I did a full review on this I absolutely love that hair care there weren't many products that I really really fell in love with this year the only one really that stood out for me was the bleach London silver shampoo because mine is naturally colored hair and I can actually see in the moment at the moment in the camera that I do have some brassiness if I don't use this on a regular basis I will get brassiness I absolutely love that shampoo it's a real cleansing shampoo as well and to go along with that I've also been using and I've been enjoying the Tresemme Violet Formula uh, Blonde Shine Toning Conditioner so both of those but I think I when I finish this I'll buy the Bleach um, London Conditioner for sorry I'm reaching for body only a couple of things um, because I've tried so many things and haven't really found anything apart from these two particular items that I've really said yeah I really like those this again was later in the year and it's the Aveeno um, Act of Naturals daily moisturizer moisturizing after shower mist so it's a spray you need to put a towel down or as I do very often I spray it into my hand and I apply it it sinks in really really well so if, like me you shower at night you can pop on your PJs and you're not going to be sticky really really love that and it's easily uh, readily available and it's a good price for a higher end this is the Clarins and it's worn away I'm surprised um, it's the moist moisture rich body lotion with shea butter for dry skin I have really enjoyed that as well and as you can see it's well used so that is all whoops nearly knocked my camera and um, that is all of my favorites for skincare hair and body care I know it was mainly skincare um, so let me know what you've been loving in those areas for the year if there's any new products that you think I should give a try and thank you for sticking with me in spite of my technical problems if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already maybe you would hit the subscribe button and give me a um, give me a leave a comment and question or questions below and tell me what you think of my new channel name <laughs> take care and I will see you again in the next video bye